Welcome back guys, we're back from break, and we are being escorted to the castle? Yes, the you king? are. The you are taken castle. directly to the castle. Okay. So, cool. They walk you through uh, the capital of Palantinus and bring you right up to the castle gates. And uh, they um, kind of stop you outside, uh, say, wait here a moment, folks. Uh, we're, we're going to go get the prince. He wanted to see you as soon as you got here. Um, he'll, he'll be right out as soon as we get him. Okay. The prince, you say? Uh, yes, yes, Prince Louis. The king, the king is not in residence at the moment? I, well, the, the prince will explain. Excellent. Uh, okay. Okay. And, and so, Travis, the, the crowds shower us with how much gold? <laughs> <laughs> crowds don't shower you at all. In fact, the guards did ask you. Yeah, the, the guards did ask you to keep the you know the head under wraps as you went through the city, so as not to cause a, an uproar or a panic or anything yeah. like that. Um, cool. So uh, you guys wait around for ten minutes, and uh, the guard comes back out with the prince and says, "Good." Good to see you all. Good to see you all. Uh, come in, come in. Um, guys, get help them with their stuff. Uh, bring their animals to the stables. Come in, come in. I, I want to hear the uh, the story of this. Is that is that it? it says pointing to the large, wrapped Bag. up like yeah. uh, yes, it is. My thing <laughs> that's soaked with melted snow and <laughs> whatever. So we bring we bring the the satchel in. Unless of course. And, yeah. uh, Excellent. Come, come. I, come. I, I give a a, 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 de a respectful bow to the prince when I see him. So. It's good to see you all again. You, uh, if you don't mind me saying so, you all look terrible. But then again, if Thanks. what's in this bag is in this bag, then there's a very good reason, and I'm glad to see you all alive. I, I'm, didn't go I'm down sorry. Down. I don't believe I've met you. Oh, to your, your, your grace, your majesty. Uh, Mizuri, this is Prince Prince Louis, the brother to the king. Uh, pleasure to meet you, my dear. Pleasure. Um, like, come in, come in, come in. Uh, let's let's unwrap it here in the courtyard. I don't want to to get the castle too messy. Uh, so we, uh, Nina, will you uh, do the honors? Yeah. Uh, sorry, slow pile again, and then dust, 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 dust. By the gods. That head is huge. Oh, the young dragon. Mizuti, can, thing Mizuti can tell more, but we were lucky it was a younger dragon. It would have been many times its size if it yes. had grown I, I fought the mother of this one many, many months ago. We are lucky he was young, <laughs> otherwise we would have needed more soldiers. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, excellent. Uh, would you? Uh, we have people here. You know, once we got the letter, we had uh, I had summoned in some of the best um, taxidermists in the uh, in the kingdom. Would you mind if we take it off your hands and, and get it preserved? Or yes, I actually. Ooh, what happened with its eyes? It was lost in the slaying. It uh, in the process of the killing blow. It was. It was. Badly bloodied. We took the mm. parts that were most likely to survive the journey. Let's see. All right. Well, we'll we'll want to get it preserved anyway, so we may just keep it on ice at, at this point. But um, excellent. Good uh, guards. Take uh, take that to the taxidermist and, and get his opinion on that. <laughs> uh, I, I I look to the party. I'm like, do we? I believe this is a rightful gift to the uh, the kingdom. A absolutely, absolutely. We just want to get it prepped and readied for preservation. Oh, no, we brought, we brought it for the king. So. Yes, excellent. Yes, and, and he's not here. Come in, come in. We're, okay. We want you to stay in the castle for a few days. Um, we'll get you cleaned up, get you okay. rested. Absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, That's my kind of talk, Prince. <laughs> is there like a wig shop in town? Uh, we'll we'll have some servants come come help you with that. Yeah, it's, okay. I've got a man who's like a bit cold here in the winter. <laughs> its head is a gift for the valuable gift that you gave us. What's the wing for? 
the five resistant potions he gave us? Oh, yeah. I was like, yeah. yes, yes. Oh, uh, well, I mean, if if you're turning down the reward that I'm sure my brother's no. going to give you, that's very <laughs> no, noble. No, 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 no. You, you see him, you see him grinning. He's pretty <laughs> obviously joking. Prince, we have to say that your your uh, your your services rendered to us were invaluable, and in, when the time came, uh, I'm just glad I could help. Um, Yes, uh, come in, come let in. We'll, we'll get go. you cleaned up. Yes, come along with me. And he brings you uh, along to some rooms. And as he's walking along, he's like, "Well, my um, I have to admit, my uh, my brother wasn't all too happy when he initially found out. Uh, as I said, when you guys were last here, you know, enemy of my enemy type thinking. But um, but things have been pretty tense along the border the last few weeks, and there have been a few skirmishes that broke out. So, uh, you know, the the tours have been saying that we've been instigating this whole dragon thing, and it's our fault, and you know, all the usual political posturing. But uh, we show them the head of the beast that they claim, you know, we're sticking on their lands. Well, it could things be a good... should get cleared up. I am I, no one for noble politics of nations. Yeah, well, neither is my brother. <laughs> but uh, it could be this this head could be a boon to smooth over relations. It could be both the perhaps even even with tensions high, this was a third party that would have driven driven both sides to much bloodshed, and perhaps this is something that your brother will see that is a a turning point. Yes, yes. Well, I, I when I spoke to him yesterday, that's what I argued, and um, well, well, trust me, he's. I'll make sure he understands, and like I said, he will. There will be a reward for this. Do not worry, my friends. But please come in. Uh, I'm sorry, my dear. I said it must be tough being royalty. Oh yeah. Politics and all. Yeah. Well, I mean, like politics and all must be tough. Uh, well, when you have a brother who rules but doesn't like politics, yeah. and I, I'm sorry, my dear, weren't didn't you say before that you were a lady? Uh, yes. I I didn't have much time to ask you about it before. I'll I'll get one of the royal scribes to work with you if if uh, we can confirm everything about your identity. Then okay. we can present you to the king as lady. Amaris, Sarah, <laughs> uh, Lady Sarah of. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I. I Your story is infallible, my dear. Riverside. Riverside is what I decided. I, 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 she can see by her boldness the dragon hit her pretty hard. Of Riverside. I, Riverside. What is the kingdom? Oh God. Uh, it's better with an M, I think, because it's right next to. Meridian. Yeah, Mer Meridian. Ah yes, yes. Well, we'll we'll work with you on all that. But uh, at this point, friends, uh, warm baths for all of you. Uh, new clothes, and um, we'll get. Uh, I I do have a the royal cleric. He'll come along, and um, I believe he's got a cream for some of those burns. I don't think it'll help with the hair, though. <laughs> I wear it as a badge of honor. <laughs> I just really want to wig right now. I wear it as a badge of honor, Prince Lewis. Ah, well, uh, well, we'll look into wigs as well. <laughs> so cool. He takes you in, and you guys get the royal treatment. Yes. You are, you are, have servants help you uh, bathe and wash, and you know, get all the shit out of your fingernails, and like really. Really get you clean, Caban. You have never been this clean. <laughs> as, a, as a man, as a man of the woods, you have never had anything like this. That's true. You probably think it's uh, fairly weird. Nina, I, you I, don't I, remember, remember having anything like this. Yeah. <laughs> I um. At some point, I'm clean and naked, and I dismiss the servants from my quarters, and I just pour my gold on the bed, and I just roll on it. <laughs> Okay. Um, you just you just kind of Scrooge McDuckett for a little I, while. I I just you I feel good. Have, I Scrooge McDuckett. Yeah, you you don't have the tough hide of a dragon. So it's actually extremely uncomfortable, but you don't care. You're I don't like, care. One I don't care. Day. It hurts so good. <laughs> cool. I'm always doing this. I'm gonna get a brush and I can start throwing and start singing. Right. 
you know. You're in the same You're room. You're not in the same room. No, you all different room. Right, different room, right? Just start throwing around. Like a you don't want to be in the same room. room. Durian's about to go on the prowl because the only thing that would cap this off <laughs> is company for the night. So. Um, <laughs> all right. So you guys, uh, you know, you all get cleaned up. Eventually, servants come back in and. Yeah, present you with some clothing, Durian. A good selection of it, by the way. I've, and, I've uh, swept away the gold. I don't have it out when they come back. Cool. So yeah, you guys get uh, you all get new clothes, um, both traveling gear and a little more formal. Oh yeah. Awesome. And, um, I'll, take a, I'll take a red dress and formal, please. A uh, a what? A red dress for the formal clothing. Okay. And <laughs> any other particular requests? Amareth, um, are you looking for blue? vestments. Yes, azure blue cleric vestments. Yours actually weren't damaged. Okay, good. You can, uh, you can get, because you didn't have them on under your armor. They were on your horse at the time. Um, perhaps like an undershirt for my armor that's azure blue. Sure. I, um, I request for my formal wear, uh, um, I don't know what you'd call it, like, um, Dark clothes, like it's austere and formal, but with like gaudy, like kind of like how the sh the silk shirt is black with silver lining, kind of thing. Like okay. that kind of like the yeah. the main color is not gaudy, but it's it's got like let's call it like red or like gold brushed like slick cuffs and sleeves. I don't know, like okay, something, yeah, something you're, really like fancy. You're, you're basically looking for a suit with like a. Almost a silky red vest and you yes. know some gold around the cuffs. Yeah, yes. they can they can do something like that. It's not gold gold, but yeah, yeah. well, it's golden colored thread. You don't think yeah. it's real gold, but yeah, they get you something nice. Cabin, I assume clothing suffices for your character. Cabin, <laughs> cabin defaults to whatever the uh, I guess the servants are suggesting. Okay, they, clothing. Yep, they bring in a few things. They give you some suggestions. It fits. You're good I, go. I yeah. wear a cravat as well. A cravat? I don't even know what that <laughs> no, is. I don't know what that is. Like. right now. Uh, <laughs> ah, yes. Yeah, absolutely. You wear yep. the you wear the ruffled shirt from Seinfeld? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I got the ruffled shirt. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> I like it. The like the same experience. Clothing like that. Uh, <sighs> okay. He said the loot thingy again. <laughs> nice. Okay. So cool. You guys, um, Durian, uh, you get some rather very dapper looking clothing. Cabin, you're in some nice stuff. It's you know just your general stuff. Uh Amareth and uh Nina have their requested colors. Um yeah, so you guys are all cleaned up. Um the uh cleric visits each of you after a while and after you've tried on your clothing and put on something a little more like general wearing during the day. Uh, he kind of treats all of your burn wounds with... Uh, it's it's kind of like a thick pasty substance. He says he you have to like... us in Vaseline. It's, <laughs> it's, it actually smells like gasoline. Not it actually gasoline. Smells Vaseline is rather not good strong. for burns. But, um, but it actually... Well, it's, catch on fire again. Yeah, it, it smells nasty, but it's really soothing once it gets on the, the itchy, scabbed, blistery skin that you all Basil. have. <laughs> again. And um, he says, you know, it, you'll, you'll have to lay around for about three hours just so it can set. Um, but after that, it should heal most of the, the burning, burned tissue. Your, your face may be... You know, wherever is treated might be kind of itchy for a while, but don't itch. So we lay around. I, so I imagine yeah. maybe my like my arms had been burned too. I mean, I had the yeah. You're shirt. kind of burnt all over. So so I I um after he leaves, I just mm -hmm. take off of my right arm. I like take away the stuffs because I want a scar of something. Like okay. I want something to be able to show off. So like just on my arm, like a, like. Say like Just a nasty, like a patch. yeah, a patch, like a nasty sort of scab up and down the leg. Sure. Here, I, I wipe it away. Yeah, my right. Your right. Okay, your sword arm. Excellent. Cool. So after all that, it's actually about evening time. Um, servants come in and tell you that uh, the you know they're planning kind of a, a dinner to celebrate your guys' victory in a couple days. Um, until then, you have, you know, run of the castle, 
Uh, certain areas are restricted, of course, but um, you're more than welcome to come and go as you please, keep your rooms, attendance for whatever you need, within reason, of course. And, um, yeah, <laughs> so you guys have the evening. I, um... Uh, define evening as terms of how late it is. It's but. pretty late. Like, you guys rolled in at around noon, and then you've spent several hours getting cleaned, getting treated for your wounds, getting it's like new clothes. 6 or 7 o'clock, right? Yeah, yeah it's so shops like are shops are closed. Great. Shops are closed. Okay, well, then I... Damn it! I, um... You really want this site. I, um... I'm... I go knock on Caden's door. Hello. Caden? Hey, you're looking... You don't smell like horse manure. This is great. <laughs> this is the cleanest and most pleasant smelling you've ever seen, Caven. <laughs> I don't mean I, to I, imply you're always smelly, but you all you are usually rather scruffy. Yeah, I understand. He's, he's yeah. a woodsman. Mm -hmm. I'm well... I, I, uh, I tell him I'm off to uh Kevin, I'm off to find a bar to to sing and to drink and to bring a woman home. <laughs> you in Are we doing the uh, performance of the the Tales of the Dragon? No, or? no, no. This is merely revelry to be alive. I will invite Nina as well if she cares to dance, but I have my eyes on Amareth, okay. <laughs> Okay. Uh, no, no, I'm not there, so finish. No, 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 no. I'm gonna get everybody, but like, I'm just, I'm asking him about the plan for the evening. Like, I'm like, hey, I got royal sweets tonight. I know many women who would be swept off the feet with that tail alone. <laughs> let's go. All right, let's go collect the rest of them. Okay. Or, do you have a place in mind, or? Nope. Wherever the night takes us. Okay. Well, we are in the. <laughs> Very nice. I hear the voice of Quail is. can find something else. Very nice voice. I am um, outside. We're, we're At some point, I ask a guard. Uh, so I, let's go collect everybody. Cool. You go collect everyone. Does that include Nazuti? Yes. Awesome. You collect everyone. I say, I'm I'm off. You what? Let, let us go. I'm let us go celebrate. We owe ourselves a celebration tonight. We have duties tomorrow, but tonight we celebrate. I'd probably just wear my vestments, no armor. Leave most of my weapons behind. Uh. Okay. Bring a dagger. Yeah, well, I, I, you know what? I've got the sword strapped on, but I, I don't have... I wear my nice clothes. You're wearing I, your nice, nice clothes. Yes. I, okay. I bring the rug with me. His Seinfeld clothes. Wait. Durian, you're bringing the like the super fancy new sword we found? No, no, don't worry about it. It's just for show. Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. Oh, you're. I'm sorry. You're bringing the sword. The sword. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, I missed that. Okay, the the green gem sword. All right, cool. Um, it's it's actually rather large. Um, at this point, you you know, someone's pointed out that it's probably a bastard sword. No yeah. one's actually drawn it from the scabbard. No. Since uh, Durian did it originally. Uh, you tempt me to take exotic weapon feet. Hmm. Damn you, Travis! I so rolled we... for treasure a long time ago. On that's me. awesome. That's actually really cool that you just figured this. You were just waiting with this horde. Oh yeah. Um. So on the way out, I I look for a guardsman who looks like a, a younger sort of fellow. Okay. Yeah. You easily find someone. Probably in his uh, eighteen twenty. Yeah. Yeah. So I I I say. Uh, yes, sir. How can I help you? Good, sir. Can you direct us to a likely tavern where there will be revelry to celebrate our accomplishments and perhaps company for the evening? Ah, I, I, I thought the servants had told you that the prince prefers word not get out before you make the presentation to the king. We will, we will say nothing, but we wish to drink and to celebrate being alive. Of course, of course. And After company. a battle, I wish I was there. I can't. I, can I ask you, how did you do it? I mean, a dragon. Like... The tale will be told later. It was trying, but we were successful. Amazing. But, uh, like I said, drink and company, if you get uh, my drink. Well, how, um, how high class are you looking? I, I would think high class by what you have on. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. The well, the... I've... Mm, are... Hmm. 
Are any of you lords or ladies? Yes. We have an, we have a lady among us who and I glance and I cock an eyebrow at Amrith and they're like we have a lady among us who has her claim yet to be officially stated. Ah, that's what I was going to ask. Uh, in that case, I would go to the uh, uh, to the merchants' quarters and go to the uh, um, the 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 tipsy tarrapin. It's uh, it's an actually a rather well known. It, it's a great place. Um, I've only been in there a few times. It's a little little pricey for my range, but uh, but it's um very good food, very good drink, and uh, the scenery is nice. Guardsman is yeah, kind of grinning <laughs> at the at the lady. Okay. You had you had me at well known. Let us go, friends. And uh, we will we will keep the story to ourselves tonight. Excellent, thank you. Cool. So you guys head out. Okay. Oh, we <laughs> As long as it isn't the tipsy Tarask. <laughs> oh God. Um, yeah. If you don't know what Tarask is, click on that link. No, Whoa. it's not Tarask. Terrapin, like the little. No, no, no I'm it's saying. Little, little, it's, like, uh, at least it's <laughs> not, is what you said. At least it's not the tipsy Tarask. Because <laughs> yeah, that would okay. be terrifying. No, it's a little. Oh, it's like yeah. a painted turtle type thing. Colossal magical beast. Yeah. Dude, forty-eight <laughs> hit dice. What the it hell? Has one, it, it's on par with a body highest level. Right? Ridiculous. Anyway, anyway, so you guys head out there, and um, it is a. Lively crowd tonight. Yay! Okay. I buy. I, I, I seek a spot where the party can be, and I buy everybody around. Excellent. Whatever they want. All not, right. not the whole bar, just our party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, cool. You get around. Drinks are expensive. It's actually a gold to cover a full round for five of you. That's exactly what I expected to spend. So I draw. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah. And you get um wine? Ale? You kind of yeah. ask the party what they want. Wine. Cool. You you guys get your drinks and they are delicious. Like you can understand yeah. why it's expensive. Cool. Cool. Alright. Cool. I, I, like I, I sort of like look at doing like you ready for a performance? Oh. Or do you want more to drink? I want more to drink, Nina, but we shall perform. I have never been in a place like this. This is everyone is so well dressed and clean. <laughs> oh, and I and I tell. Is Mizuki all fancy too? Yeah, Mizuki. she's actually in like uh, rather nice flowing robes of red and black. Really, uh, kind of complement her her look. And I nice. I um I, I say Mizuki, your your drinks are on us tonight. This is the least we can oh. do for a night of fun. Well, we uh we braved a rather difficult challenge together. It is a good time to relax and enjoy life. All right, so we enjoy life. At some point, Nina and I get up and perform. Awesome. Yeah, that's what I'm which one do you want? Let it go, yo. Dude, it's you're you're performing. Well, <laughs> I bet it would be more appropriate after the dragon thing. Oh yeah, I guess it would. I don't know what that is, but you can sing that one. Yeah. Uh, Travis knows which one Iburn is. Okay, so you it do you discuss it with you discuss <laughs> it with Durian. Um, Durian, are you gonna accompany her on your flute? Um. What? So what? What do we? Is this a song? Yeah. Yeah. I'm. I'm He's going to. Sing. Can I sing? With, no. Or to, uh, sing is a different skill. Um. Yeah, sing, singing and oratory is different. Yeah, you, okay, no, so, yeah, I'll do my food. Okay, so right, Nina talks with you and gives you, you know, kind of hums and sings along quietly the tune, so you can kind of improvise with your flute. Awesome. You guys go up, and what do you say? You, ju you just walk up to kind of a stage. Um, there. We're here with the bartender. We say we'd, we'd yeah. like to perform. We have, we're a duo with some skill, passing skill. We'd like to entertain your crowd. Excellent. There was actually a, uh, a man with a violin playing a rather nice tune. Um, 
Uh, it was not not necessarily super fast and lively, but not slow either. Like a a good tune that people are listening to as uh, as they drink. So you go up and uh, ask for the stage, and yeah. it's yours. All right. I don't know what this tune is, so I'm just gonna roll. Let it go, prison. Basically, uh, cool. you want to do the announcement or intro? I I look up at the crowd and I put on my 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 good oratory voice and I say, "Friends, we have had trying travels in these terrible times, but we are here tonight. Let us let us celebrate." We have a tune for you. Awesome. And, and so I, uh... The, the crowd looks with interest. Hey, I, uh... I play my flute to the tune. All right. Yeah. Nice. And awesome. Uh, Nina had kind of given you basics on the song, how it went, the melody, and you improvised pretty well for not knowing it. Yeah. And Nina... Yeah, here start we go. singing... So this is, by the way, the second half of it, Travis. That's fine. That makes I've sense. never, I've never seen the movie. Go ahead. Neither have I. Okay. It's funny. Oh god. <coughs> blah, blah, blah. Okay. It's this funny how some. Oh god, yeah. It's funny how some distance makes everything seem small, and the fears that once controlled me can't get to me at all. It's time to see what I can do. Oh god. Hey, you're all crazy. All right, it's hard to do, especially when there's no music, so you can't keep tone. Um, they're right, they're wrong, they rules for me. I'm free. Let it go, let it go. I'm the one with the wind and the sky. Let it go, let it go. You'll never see me cry. Here I stand and here I stay. Let the storm rage on. My powers flowing through the air into the ground. My soul. Oh God. <laughs> My soul is fiery, <laughs> it throws and fractures all around. And the one thought crystallizes like an icy blast. I'm never going back, the past is the past. Let it go, let it go. My oh, eyes like the break of dawn. Let it go, let it go. That perfect girl is gone. Here I stand in the light of day. Let the storm rage on. The cold never bothered me anyway. Ah, oh, God, that's it. Excellent. <laughs> I, well, you're you're no uh, Dean Menzel, but props. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I God. I was I was only uh I was I wasn't gonna give you a plus because you started off just kind of saying it, but you sung, so I'm yeah, gonna it, give it, you it, a plus it's three. Hard, it's hard to do with that music. You gotta remember. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna give you a plus down. three for actually singing at least a portion. of Yeah, it's, uh, I can only sing the portion that I actually know where. Roll the, the dice. Roll the dice. The plus three? Yep, plus three to whatever your normal roll is. Seventeen. Nice. All right. So Durian's flute playing, he, he catches a few of the tunes that you you maybe miss a little bit, but it's a good performance. You, people enjoy it, and uh, they actually... Yeah. <laughs> they actually, in a place like this, they're not exactly... With Durian so well-dressed, they're not giving you money, but they're coming up like that's a very good performance. Where did, yeah, yeah. Where did you guys learn that? Uh, what was it about? You... I have just learned this tune off the cuff. My friend here taught it to me, and I played with only my own skill and intuition. Well, very impressive, sir. Very impressive. Uh, my dear, you're, you're quite the, uh, the blossoming young singer. Thank you. Grace for my courtesy. Cool. Curtsy or courtesy? Curtsy. Curtsy. Okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah. So they they don't like it's it's an establishment where when you walk up in like fucking suit, they're not gonna fling copper yeah. at you. It would be yeah. an insult to do so. But uh, they like it. A couple people buy you drinks. You know how expensive they are. So yeah. 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 And and they ask you uh, how fair your travels. Um. It's uh. Uh, from your song, it appears you recently got over a rough stretch. How how are you all faring? Where well, do you come from? I fare. I've come from far into the northern continent, and this is. I've been some months now. 
Quite foreign, then. Quite foreign. Quite right. How are the politics up there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually, I give, I give a pretty, just, I'm polite, but I give a hasty sketch of the politics, which are pretty accurate up there, because I was touched. I, I talk about yeah. the shipping trade and the, uh, the constant, uh, the constant fights between the various guilds and controlling the shipping to the south and to the east. Ah, uh, yes. Always a, a gold coin to be made somewhere. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, um... Shifts. And I say of our travels that it is... There's much danger on the road, and it is always good to be in a warm a warm place with a drink, and, uh... And I look around for likely women who would be ah. for... for... for taking, and I say, and company. If, ah, if so, good yeah, sir, you could good. recommend perhaps a... A person to speak with that would uh, perhaps share a drink with me. Ah, I, I sort of well. forgive at this point. I'm like, what about Amrith? I thought you two were an item or something, the way you were acting back there. <laughs> Hush, Nina. Oh. This matters beyond your. <laughs> Is there burgeoning love in your group? <laughs> there is always burgeoning love when one is alive. Ah, oh, bam! Yes. Bam! <laughs> I like you, young sir. You remind me of me when I was your age. Quite the adventurer I was back in my days. Hmm, yes. I like to think of myself as such, sir. Ah, well, I would love to share a brandy with you, young man, but I, I dare say you're hunting uh, the fairer game tonight. Sir, your conversation is fair enough, but it is true I have my eyes on, on a different sort of company. Ah, well, I shan't, I shan't keep you from your hunt. Best of luck, young man. <laughs> and he adjusts his monocle, which I totally <laughs> picture him having, and yeah, takes, cry, a sip, cry, 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 cry. takes a sip of his brandy. <laughs> um, I actually, before before I um before I go off, I actually put him ah. in a conversation and just ask him after his travels. We don't have to role play it. I just yeah yeah he. he Cool. So he, you know, you you have a quick conversation with him. He's actually a, uh, <laughs> uh, he's actually one of uh, the minor lords of the city. Um, little less of a lord, more of a noble, I guess. I don't know the best. He's he's well off, and he seems to be um quite involved with the uh. Uh, owns a fleet of fishing ships. Um, they come into the ports around Deepwater and Randuin's Bay. His business has been a little bad because of the tensions. Um, probably a bunch of shit you don't really care about, but that's about it. Yep, that's cool. We just, I just, you know, yeah, yeah, you chat good. him up. You know, I, I buy him another brandy by myself. One, we share a drink and. Uh. Chad and uh... excellent. He introduces you to his wife, who is a rather, uh, rather attractive older woman. Um, he himself is quite portly. I am unfailingly uh... polite to the wife. Oh, she gives no, you no, no, a no, smile no. and a no. wink. Okay, cool. <laughs> but I'm, I was saying that I don't get fresh with the wife. But yeah, I... yeah, yeah. Okay. Have an anyways. Have an anyway. Do it live. Um. Ooh, she is. Despite her age, she is quite attractive. Uh, a definite 16 out of 18. Whoa. You get my drift. Got it. Okay. That's more charisma. But you're, you're looking for younger game. Gotcha. I am, and I'm not looking for to upset a powerful merchant's wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what would Durian do? No, anyway. Uh, no, what would Durian do? Uh, Durian has not had enough to drink to take this unwise course of action. <laughs> okay. Cool. So you, uh, he orders you a second brandy as as Plus. you bow away from the table, like you're leaving. Yeah. He still wants to catch you a drink. Plus, um, I am. Um, plus, I want to take somebody back who would be impressed with my digs, and I don't think she would. She be she may maybe like that. appreciative, <laughs> but not like ooh wow, you know, like odd. Yeah. It. Cool. So you look around and quickly spot a rather attractive. Oh God, what's a six? <laughs> no, a six, a six on my race. I know, I know, I know. I know. Um, I know. it it actually probably is one of the smaller races. So I just, I fairly assume you ignore her. I don't. I'm not going for gnome tonight. Okay, cool. 
Um, after only a rather we, we short... Can, we, I'll look around. You can turn yeah, around the you, party. You actually find a, uh, uh, an attractive human woman. Well, I, I'm going to go over and, uh, and begin my flirtation, but what, you know, we can go to the other part, to the rest of the party. Sure. Rest of the party, what are you doing? M- Mizuti has had a few uh, drinks, and she's like, I'm not used to this type of thing. I I'm going to hang out with Mizuti, because she sounds like she'd get funny. Yeah, I am not used to drinking this kind of stuff. Do you have this everywhere where you live? <laughs> uh, a lot of places, yeah. Wow, I might have to stay around here for a while. Did, did I ever tell you the story of when we fought Rekum and Mada? No, please uh, no. Us. Oh, it was terrible. We lost a good many friends. And she actually goes into the story. So, okay. Um, I'll buy her a drink. Cool. Yeah. Stories, he goes into the story. Uh, they actually ended up, um, you know, apparently Rayquiman's mom, whose name, like, you ask her name at some point, and she's like, "We do not speak her name. Oh, oh we do God. not name that." I was about to ask. You, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, right. but you know, but after she, co- I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We, we simply do not say that. But, uh, and she goes into how they, um were kind of ruled by this dragon uh, in the area. They kind of uh, kept all of the humans, or, or at least humanoid races, subservient to her, made them pay gold and punish them if they didn't. They actually ended up luring her out and uh, creating a rock slide and trapping her in and killing her there. Still, there were 40 people who went out hunting her, 25 were killed. Mizuti's one of the 15 dragon slayers that survived. Interesting. Yeah. Also, when she freaks out, I imagine the scene in, like, in The Hobbit <laughs> where Bilbo freaks out uh, when Frodo asks about the ring or whatever. He's like, it's mine! <laughs> no? No? Um, I haven't seen the movie. I will... Oh. It's, it's well, more... It's like more yeah, it's, it's more of a... Um, he who must not be named Lord Voldemort type deal. Actually, like it's a good it's a good pull, Allison, because actually that's the the best part and that's probably closest to the books in that beginning part because it's exactly how I imagined it. But just like he Bilbo goes into freaks, gol- he goes into Gollum mode. Yeah, and yeah. like they do a, a whole effect on his face that he becomes like really dark and haggard and like he's like yeah. what do you want with that? Like and gets all pissed off. Nice. So. Anyway, side note. Okay, Allison. Less. What? I'm just. I'm just reading the chat, and I'm like looking for the first thing I see is looking for girlfriend, aka OK Cupid. Oh. Well, read right up above that, and you'll understand. Uh, any, anyway, so you guys continue on, and um, Caben, Nina, any anything in particular you want to do, or are you just oh. listening to Mizuti's story? I am very much interested in the story. Of, uh, yeah, it's it's quite the harrowing tale. She speaks of how they not only trapped it, but also, you know, had people running in and harassing it, and then keeping out of range when it breathed fire. They spread out. You actually pick up quite a good amount on tactics on fighting dragons. All right. <laughs> and so, skill fighting dragons. Plus one for fighting dragons. <laughs> actually, it is literally when you roll a uh, arcana check on how to fight dragons. Or uh, any check to fighting dragons, you get a plus one. All right. Oh. We should have got her drunk sooner. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Is that on my character sheet? I have to remember that. Uh, keep it in mind. Okay. Um, cool. So, so dance. Yeah. I wish to dance. Can I add that, that on my character sheet? <laughs> yeah, go right ahead. How can I do that? Um, uh, Travis add it in notes. Uh, some... Oh, you can't. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, we can <laughs> add that stuff. Travis, you have to. Okay, I will make a note to add it to your character sheet. Thank Nina, you, very much, Travis. you you go up to the violinist and you ask if he can play a tune to whatever speed of dancing you would like to do. No, well, uh, is it like no one's dancing or is like people just sitting like? Uh, yeah, it's it's more of a bar than a disco. Uh, <laughs> disco take. God damn it. La disco. <laughs> 
Whatever, I'll dance anyway. Awesome. Cool. So well, you uh, specify a certain beat and tune that the violinist can hit, and you go up there and uh, shake your thing. <laughs> Nineteen. Woo, nice. You go up there and give a uh, a nice performance. And once again, this is the type of place where throwing money at people would be very rude, but you have several gentlemen who come up to you. Say, you you move effortlessly, my dear. Can I buy you a drink? Uh, I sort of like walk around like, uh, Chubby, thank oh. you, but... Oh. Uh, I point to Caveman, and there's like a panic where I say he's waiting for me. I just run. Oh, okay. You, 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 okay, you, that's fine. You run away from the man who is far more attractive than Caveman, and yeah. then I go back to the party table. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> I said, like, in a panic mode, I just like he's waiting for me, and I just, like, dash. I'm like, oh, god. Okay. That's fine. That's Nina's what, like seventeen or some shit. She's pretty yeah. young. Yeah. And has no memory. She doesn't. At, at that, to... that moment, I'm going I'm like, over to Caven just... and I bend to his ear. I haven't approached the woman yet, and I say, uh... "Come, Caven. Let us let us go find game to hunt." Uh... <laughs> Excellent. So. It's always like the last bar the... incident all over again. So uh, right as she comes running back to go to Caven, I pull him away. <laughs> nice. If he comes, if he comes willingly, anyway. Kevin's going. I spotted the one attractive yes. human, she but I, I look for I look for perhaps an elf or a half elf or a human. You know, I don't care. I'm just looking for yeah. someone for Kevin. So there's a quiet no one, sort of looking woman. There's no one right by her, but you you do see another uh, woman kind of by herself. Uh, um, who is? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Another dwarf. Super hideous. <laughs> who is, your girlfriend. Who is um, a nerd. closer to Caven's attractiveness? Perfect. And Ouch. she is. She is an elf. Perfect. So I um, I say, oh, yeah. go get go get her, champ. I'll bring I'll bring my I'll bring mine over uh, momentarily. <laughs> Caven, she's. A handsome woman with a strong <laughs> jaw. She's got strong features. Yeah. Strong features. So we're talking about an, we're talking an eight, a nine, or a seven. An eight. But similar, similar. Right. Perfect. Wait, an eight on the hotness scale? An oh, yeah. eight out of oh, possible eighteen. Eight. No, well, now he's picky and choosy. He's like, well, I don't know how Kaben, to do you this. Are Wait a minute. nicely dressed. Yeah, you can go on the dress day, Kaben, so... Kaben, did you wear your dressy stuff or yeah, your he, normal he was dressed. He was wearing that dress stuff when Durin came and collected him. Okay. Cool. Oh, yeah, there we go. Hey, yeah. So hey, do you go up? Yep. Ah! Ah. <laughs> yeah, it's him to go by the Blackhawks or something. I don't know. Lots of yelling. <laughs> they just scored a goal. So. Is it, you swagger on up to this is, one? Wait, is she alone or was she sitting with the other girl that Durian wanted? I was confused. No, she was alone. alone. They were separate on the bar. Oh, okay. And I push Caven off and I'm like, go talk to her and I'll be over in a minute. Okay, Durian said he'll join us, so I'll go and sit yeah. down. Oh, shit. Talk to her. Okay, what do you say? Caben, we'll say oh, you get God. there first for the funsies. You arrive. <laughs> you arrive at your destination. Just be like, hello. Yeah, yeah, quite I guess, ask me, ask if she want to have a drink, if I can buy her a drink. Ah, I, I apologize, good sir. I already have one. Uh, please, join me. Yeah. Did you like the performances tonight? Ah, uh, yes, I, I saw you with the... Uh, a rather dapper gentleman. Um, is he a friend of yours? Yes, he is. <laughs> I must. Yes, I must is. say his uh, <laughs> his flute work is quite impressive. <laughs> are you uh, are you performers? Do you travel with him? Uh, he, he's more the performer. I'm uh, I'm not. I, I can't a, hear I'm, you at all. Oh, you can't hear me. Yeah, is is there background coming in from someone else? Can you hear me? Now? I I can hear, I hear you, but there's someone else's. There's like a TV the on the background. Oh, that's possibly mine. He's been watching 
Oh. Just, just speak into the microphone. That'll be fine. I'll be a little closer. Yeah. Um, was it, what was I saying? Oh, so Dorian's the more performer. Um, he, he has better oh, flute work than I do. Ah, <laughs> and what is your specialty? Uh, I, I like the other type of flute. I like, I like the outdoors. I'm more of a more of a woodsman, bowman. If if you were here, if you how long was the the festival ago? Oh, um, you're like asking me. Uh, like a long, week. way longer than that. Really? Weeks? Well, you. Orin got murdered. Yeah. You gotta remember, there's travel time. Like every city, so like two is, months. Two yeah. months. Well, I'll, I'll say if I'm, I'm if, a, you, if I'm you remember a... X X whatever time limit at the festival, I was uh, yeah. I was the victor in the archery contest. Oh, were you really? That's quite impressive. Uh, are you a uh, a man of uh, martial means? Man of martial, martial means. means? Are it? you a soldier? Yeah, a soldier. Oh. <laughs> No, I'm more of a more adventuring type. Oh, I see. And why don't you give me a diplomacy check? <laughs> and no, you you cannot substitute wild empathy. For this. <laughs> 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 as long as I get a diplomacy check. Later. I actually did add that to your sheet, by the way, Kevin. Um, so that's something you can use whenever we encounter an animal, Wait, which again empathy? does not apply. Yes, it's one of your ranger skills that we haven't used. Oh, okay. Yeah. My diplomacy is like negative one, I think, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's negative your, one. Uh, yeah. Your diplomacy is pretty shit. I'm not gonna lie. I will give you. There it is. Oh, you don't need you don't need a bonus. <laughs> you don't need a bonus. Ain't need no bonus. You don't. You don't, you don't fuck up. She, I'll take the bonus. She, though. she hears about your tale and you tell her how the king presented you with the arrows and like of of winning the archery tournament you know you keep the dragon out of it cuz yeah. you were asked you. Yeah, yeah yeah and um and she's very impressed she is she is uh very impressed she is appears to be very much enjoying your conversation sweet Turian, let's circle over to you good sir you saddle up to a very attractive young human woman uh... um I, I say, my lady, I uh, I see that you are alone this evening. Would you object to some company? Ah, that's what I was rolling for. Not at all. Uh, impressive job on the flute. Uh, is that a custom-made instrument? It looked rather finely wrought. I uh, I I. I whip out my flute. Okay, you show her your masterwork bronze flute. As I, I, I show her, I say yes. I had it made, actually, custom made for myself. It is, it is a nice piece. I have, I have not had it as long as my old wooden flute that I trained on and, and learned with, which, while not attractive, has a certain attachment to to me. But it is, this flute has served me well. Did you give that flute away? I treasure it highly. I don't know much about instruments, but your your performance was quite impressive. Thank you. Yes, I uh, I am I am a tra a bard of the of both courts and the common folk, and I'm with some friends this evening, and we are celebrating our our good health and fortune of late. Ah, well, please tell me about your travels, well, and so that we don't spend all night here. I I tell her about the I tell her the the tale of the cobalt and the centaurs. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, I tell and her. Of, of, and of, of course, of... you weave a tale where you are a it's hero a helping a. a if not leading, but certainly playing a very important part. Okay. In, and I think this is the last so time that I was actually fighting pretty heavily. But yeah, that's yeah. I tell the tale of like encountering centaurs and the diplomacy of yes. me, like of like making sure and the magical beasts, and I describe them in detail, and I give them strange accents and mythical knowledge. And Excellent. Like, Roll a diplomacy <laughs> check. <laughs> diplomacy check. I'm actually helping. <laughs> Dropping a huge hint. Three. I don't. What? Twenty. Not a very good roll, but still okay. Tell that story instead. 
Oh no, that's that's that. I don't tell that. It's a bloody story. This one was full of magic and wonder. Uh. <laughs> well, twenty is still pretty darn good. She enjoys your story and is uh, uh, chatting chatting it up with you. So I and then at some point after the story during it, I I mentioned that a, a companion of mine who is a great asset, and I actually say, ah, oh, he's over there. Perhaps perhaps you would like to meet him as well. We could. Uh, Oh, yes. We, we could uh, chat amongst ourselves and swap. I could hear more about you. Oh, excellent. Yes, yes. So you uh, you um, go over to Cabin, talk with, you know, introduce yourselves. You, uh, you know, yes. So you go on about that. And why don't I get one more diplomacy check from each of you? And Shit. Durian, nah. 16. It's not terrible, but it's not, not terrible. But plus yeah. 11. You figure it'd be. Get ready for my negative. Wait, do I get a bonus? Um, I'll factor in the fact that she's already enjoying your. Company. Please, I need factors. Fair enough. Yeah. Ten. <laughs> All right. Well, you're you're a bit quiet, but um, uh, your lady friend prompts you to tell the story of whatever it was you were talking to her about, and uh, yeah, yeah, you're you're not completely silent. So excellent. Um, rest of the party, did you have anything else to do tonight? Uh, I'm just gonna stick with the group because I'm worried about the incident yeah, that happened. Yeah, you, 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 you got soldiers. Got... Durian was there. And I'm like, nope, nope, not again, not again. Yep, you got the fuck out of Dodge. Amareth, were you just, um, you and Mizuti just kind of chatting it yeah, up? Yeah, just chatting, and I'd probably, like, you know, meditate for a bit before going to sleep. Cool. All right. So, uh, you, uh, Durian, you, of course, dropped the hint at some point that you're staying at the castle. <laughs> castle. <laughs> And um, and that pretty well seals the deal. You all yes. head back to the castle. Excellent. <laughs> seals the deal. Yes. Does Caven does Caven get, get? Oh yeah, something? she comes. She when you mention that you're staying at the castle, I've never seen the castle. Oh, Caven dear, why I don't, mean, why don't you take me over? Would you like to see the inside of the castle? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I'm not gonna go and, there. And roll constitution <laughs> checks. <laughs> uh, D DM roll these, please. Oh, okay. So it's a uh, 1d20 plus your full con score. The full con and score. And GM roll, slash GM roll, and then uh, whatever you need to roll. D20 okay. plus con. And okay. If I roll a 1, do I not get it up? Is that the deal? <laughs> no, no, no. This is okay. All right. Cool. So you guys... Um, have have companions for the night. All right. I I have of course asked the woman's name at some point. And she tells it to you, and you remember it. You commit it to memory. And you get a tattoo on it, your arm. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Her name is Ashlyn. Oh. And Haven doesn't uh, ask because wait. he's a gentleman. Haven, oh, okay. <laughs> I just, you you guys were talking. You you know these ladies' names. Her oh, yeah. name is um. Oh, I had an elven name, Jen. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. What? We won the game. He closed his tabs. <laughs> we won the game. Oh, oops. Oh, no, we didn't win the game. He's back already. And uh, that's how the world ends with Durian and Caven. <laughs> that, the... that was the wrong uh, one to hit. And uh, Durian, your lady's name is... Uh, Mine's Ashlyn, I thought. Caven, uh, your lady's name is... Uh, uh, oh, my God. Betty. Just, had it. Just Betty. Bill <laughs> <laughs> Harrell. Bethany? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? Phil Varel, F. Phil yeah. Varel. So okay. weird. Phil Varel. Gotta a, write that your list, Kevin. It's just as homely as her looks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's an elf, right? Or half elf? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Elf, whole elf. <laughs> yes. You, yeah, you... Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so, uh, you, uh, have the... the 
it's actually nice, um, because when you guys get up in the mean in the morning, the uh, uh, come on, the servants like bring you all breakfast, and um, you know, they they kind of they escort the ladies out afterwards <laughs> in a very polite and and you discreet know discreet manner. Discreet manner, yes. <laughs> there you go. After a fine breakfast and, uh, you know, fanciful surroundings, and yes, the ladies are rather impressed. Cool. Okay. So, Good. um, awesome. It is the next day. Your, uh, your meeting with the king is going to be this evening. I assume, uh, okay. you know, it's, it's you get up nice and early in the morning, and, um, is there anything you'd like to maybe do in town today? Yes, please. I'd like to go to a meeting with your breathness. Okay. <laughs> cool. Um, Durian, do you want to go buy some materials? Yeah, I, I guess you all eventually kind of convene for, like, breakfast, or in Durian and Caben's case, it's more coffee after breakfast. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think Mizuti has the chat hangover as well. Uh, she... Oh, boom. 18 on a fort save. She's fine. She stopped drinking when she realized how strong everything was. Um, I... Yes, so let's... Let's, uh... Let's, let's all chip in, and, uh... I'll go fire the necessary components. Okay. Well, oh. Let me know how much money that costs, and I'll give it to you later. I'm off to the best mess before I forget. 100 gold oh, apiece. Just give it now. I, uh, I really just drop a small bag of 100 gold and just go whoosh. Cool. I'm going to roll with Dylan. Are, are you sure you want to go to the blacksmith before things are identified, Josh? Um, well, unless someone has a magical scythe, probably. <laughs> okay. Fine. You uh, head to the blacksmith. And you get uh, to the actually, blacksmith. <laughs> actually, hold uh, on. Is. Lu oh, God. Llewellyn's closer. Dennis Blacksmith. Uh, uh, yes, actually, because the blacksmiths generally wouldn't be in the high-end quarters, whereas he is. I'll, I'll quickly stop in there just to let him know that we're back. And uh, actually, Mizuti heads with you since she's going there anyway. Uh, okay. Llewellyn sees you uh, two walk in, and he's his eyes light up, and he says, "Ladies, it's so good to see you." But by the gods, you're not the only ones returning, are you? No, no, no. They're all having oh. fun in town. Ah, I see. So everyone made it all right. Uh, Durian, Amareth, that quiet uh, little cabin. <laughs> I should have just sort of smiled. I say, "They're fine, all right." <laughs> I didn't. Doing great. Back, one, back back in one piece, yeah. The hair, not so much. Oh, I see. I see. Well then, my dear, and he turns to Mizuti. I would hope you uh, you were successful. And Mizuti brings out a jar with uh, some liquid and a couple of eyeballs in it. Oh, excellent, excellent, very good. You and I will will work things out in a bit. But my dear, how can I help you? Um, I was wondering, like, my scythe broke when we were I'm in the sorry to hear that. Uh, I was wondering, before I go get a new one, did you have, perhaps, an enchanted scythe of any kind, or know of anyone in town that might have one? <laughs> an enchanted scythe? I, I'm sorry, my dear, that's a rather uncommon weapon. <laughs> I, I figured as much. Um, I, I, I certainly can't speak for all the magic shops, but I, I would wager that you wouldn't find one. I, I sort of nod, like, um, I have a question then. Uh, How yes, much? Like, I, I, I'm no wizard, of course. How much does it cost to get items enchanted? Well, well, during the certainly depends on the enchantment, my dear. Um. I could add a minor enchantment to a weapon, if that's what you're asking about. It would be on the realm of 2,000 gold, and it would require the weapon be built beforehand. More powerful enchantments are only going to be commensurately more expensive. I sort of, like, have the ice rod in my hand. I'm like, um, what about an enchantment like this? 
and I sort of look at the ice rod. I... How much would that get put on the weapon? I have no idea. What does that do? Okay, uh, so when you smack people with it, they get frozen a little bit, and it has the ability to shoot ice out of it. And make, shoot make it slip on it. Like, um, if you have an area that you have free, I can give you a demonstration. Ah, uh, no, 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 my dear, we do not use magic items within within yes. the city areas, especially ones yeah. that you can't accurately tell me what they do. <laughs> oh, sorry. So basically, you tap it on the ground, and when you say a word, it shoots ice all across the ground, and people flip, basically. It's like a um, Ooh, portable um, ice skating ring, basically, where people just slip and slide. I... You see, <laughs> you were like track track and then like the lost him on the skating ring part. You're making it hard because I can't. I don't know the spell is actually grease. I'm trying not to meddle the crap out of this. So yeah, I'm you sorry. have no idea what the spell it is. It seems like I a see. futuristic well, invention. If if I understand correctly, it that's a powerful item you have there. It would be worth thousands and thousands of gold. I'd be happy to appraise it for you if you if you're looking to sell. No, no, uh, like, I just want to know how much it would cost to get that on an item. Thousands and thousands of gold. Uh, okay. I'll keep far, an eye on that. Far more expensive than a, a minor enchantment. I'm not sure I could even do it myself. I'd, I don't even know what spells it would take. I'd, I haven't heard of creating a weapon with this type of effect. Just, I would be fascinated to study the one you have. Are you sure? I would love to appraise it for you, my dear. Well, uh, I think my companions might get up me if I do this without them, but I do have one other one. Last I understand, I understand. I sort of turn the rod around to where the bump is, the dent or whatever. Yeah. The rod. Like, how much would it cost to remove this and have it fixed? Oh, my dear. And he, he kind of... Uh, holds his hand out to look at it. Yeah, I give him the rod. Cool. So he looks at it. Mm -hmm. Repairing a magical item. Mm -hmm. I could I could help you with it. It would cost a couple hundred gold. I'm worried if uh, if this gets any more damaged, it might not work in the way it's intended. Uh, how long would it take to fix it? A few days, I'd I'd have to consult one of the best blacksmiths in town, and we'd have to combine our skills to uh, to make sure it's properly repaired. Uh, well, could you let me know? I would very like, very much like to get it fixed. Oh yes, like uh, if if you want to leave it with me, and uh, we'd probably do fifty percent down for the repairs, and um, I I could take it and get it repaired. Uh, yes, that'd be nice. I have a feeling Excellent. if this gets broken any any much more, I think the uh, I, I sort of tried to look for the word to say it, as I'm sure I think it was Durian who was pissed off the most. I I, I mm -hmm. think yeah, uh, what more spoken man might speak more at me if it's broken. I understand. I understand. Yes, I can take it off your hands. We'll say um, a uh, hundred gold down for the labor. It. I would estimate a, an additional hundred gold to finish it off. Um, uh, it depends what the blacksmith says. His skills are, of course, needed with my own. But I think that should cover it. Okay. Um. So hundred now, hundred on pickup, or? Yes. I drop a hundred gold down for him. Cool. And say that I have a feeling me and my friends may be stopping back in. in I would hope so. I hope to see everyone again. I want to hear the tale of this dragon you fought. It's like I I, I smile and I'm like, just do this. Like you got to keep that secret for a little while yet. Yes, like, yes, of course, of course. And he turns and says, "Mizuti, my dear, why why don't we speak in private?" I, I excuse myself and head for the blacksmith. <laughs> cool. You okay, head for the blacksmith. Um, cool. You find a uh, blacksmith pretty quickly. Since we're not likely to come across dragon's eyes for some time, do you want to give us a hint about how much they're worth? Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> really? <laughs> not, <laughs> even, not even a little bit. <laughs> um, you could ask Luan. Yeah, you, you certainly could. He won't Fair boy... 
Preferably I go to a blacksmith that isn't the one that Llewellyn's going to hire, by the way. Because then that'd you be more You have no welcome. idea which one Llewellyn's going to hire. Well, you I head to the nearest... You get directed to the nearest blacksmith, and you are now at the blacksmith. Yeah, I... I Llewellyn didn't leave. He, he was discussing things with Mizuti anyway, so... Okay, so I go in and I... Oh, sorry. <clears throat> I introduce myself and... I uh, wonder what kind of size he has for sale. Uh, size? I, I don't sell farm equipment, honey. Uh, battle <laughs> size. Oh. Uh, I don't have anything made up, but I could I could build you one. How much would it, how much would one cost to get built? Say one that could be enchanted. Oh, an item of masterful quality. Uh, yes, sir. Well, I could do that for you. It'd probably run about uh, 330 gold, and I could have it done for you in uh, probably three or four days. I say I know uh, half now, half from pickup, or over yeah, half. that would be perfect. Half, so half and half again. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Perfect. I give 165 gold to him, and I look forward to its crafting. Excellent, yes. I will have a check back in uh, three days, and we'll see what my progress is at. If I don't have a lot of other orders, I might be able to get it done by then. If not, it should be uh, only a day or a little more after. Okay, thank you, and what's up? Excellent. Have a good day, ma'am. Cool. <laughs> So you head uh, back to the castle? Uh, unless I know where the party's going to be, yeah. I, you said I literally run out of there, so... Yeah, you <laughs> ran. Yeah, back to the <laughs> cool. So, guys, while she heads out, what are you doing? Temple! Temple. I was wrong with Do doing not that. get me a sick people, for the love of God. I, uh, I go with Amrath and Caven. Really? Are you feeling okay? <laughs> it must be the loss of hair. <laughs> yeah. My, uh, Amareth, by the way, they did bring you uh, a wig. What color would you have gone with your natural hair color? Natural hair color of okay. white, obviously. Cool. So they... Well, it takes it's, them a it's while. In, but, like, attractive pigtails. Yeah, they... <laughs> It's well. It's a wig. You can like take it out of one hairstyle and put it into another. It's just but like yes, normal hair. You're wearing a wig. <laughs> I, I always forget she has white hair. You <laughs> yes. You, elven hair actually doesn't grow that fast. So you see the stubble on my chin. That's about all you have right now. A uh, little wow. less even. Um, but yeah. So you get a. You have your wig on and you head to the temple. All and right. Uh, uh, Caben, you were going with. I was following Durian, so if he's following, he's going with Amrith. I'm going. Oh, with... I thought you were going to the temple. No, okay. I was. I said I was following you. No, I follow. I follow you follow Amrith. each I other say... in a circle. <laughs> okay. okay, we just we just walk around. <laughs> no, I am. Um, I say Amrith. Uh, mind if I tag along for a minute? Amrith gets extremely excited when he says this and says, "Yes, <laughs> absolutely, come with us. Go, go, <laughs> let's go." <laughs> All right, so you two head to the temple, and three. Um, All three of us. All three, sorry. You three head to the temple. And uh, I think it's been another hour, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been yeah. yeah. All right. Why don't we take a quick break and um, go into the last hour, hour and a half or so? Yeah, yeah. sure. Okay. All right. By the way, this this uh, this longer session is actually pretty nice. So. Yeah, kind yeah. of get all this stuff sort of squared away and then figure out what happens next. Yes. All right, yes, yes, yes. All right. take a quick break then. Alright guys, we'll be back in about seven-ish minutes, so stick around. See you then.